avoiding heaps of bullwhip kelp and seagull carcasses and blobs of broken jellyfish, and tried to imagine Judy walking alongside me. I thought of her rounded shoulders, her full lips, the lilac smell of her hair. I picked up memories of New Year's in Brooklyn, our month in Morocco, our last phone conversation about whether or not we needed fresh half and half. I waited for something to happen, but nothing did. Her voice didn't whisper from the rocks or the sky, sea, the sky didn't open. I felt no tingles down my spine. I couldn't say I was surprised, really. Judy was a practical person, and ghostly visitations didn't seem like her style. Our love had never been the flamboyant kind. I came to a giant rock and watched the waves smash against its wall, pulverizing into mist. The orange sun touched the horizon. Overhead, the stars were beginning to speckle the dark shell of sky and a flock of gulls killed near the trees. It was fully dark when I got back to town. I ate dinner at a vegan place with live folk music, the fruit of the hippie diaspora that had reached Newport decades before. <laughs> matter jugglers there tonight. Um, and almost despite myself, I started to relax. The people were friendly there. My tempeh tacos were excellent, and the beer improved my mood considerably. Um, by the second pint, I was actually feeling pretty good. The grief had started to unclench its teeth a little. Eating alone wasn't always so bad, I had to admit. Not for, uh, not for that matter was, or nor for that matter, was waking up in an empty bed or going to the movies in the afternoon or sitting in a coffee shop watching the traffic go by. On some level, if I was really honest with myself, I was beginning to relish my newfound solitude. I'd enjoyed making the small decisions. I enjoyed making the small decisions about which way to turn on the beach or what restaurant to try. I liked the slight puzzle a single man my age seemed to pose. It couldn't exactly, I couldn't exactly admit these feelings to anyone. I was supposed to be in despair and all, but out on the coast, away from my daily routine, I could at least begin to admit to myself the glimmer of optimism was kindling.